My name is Jonathan Mangum. Let's play some you jokes. Hello, everybody. It is Monday, which means it is time for you jokes. Welcome to this live comedy presentational program of jokes and comedy. Uh, more? You want it explained? Well, I'd be happy to. You Jokes is a comedy competition where two funny people compete for the best joke based on a picture, a meme, an idea, a concept, etc., etc., that I present to them. But there's more because if you're watching, that means you can play too. This is not some pre recorded Hollywood BS, my friends. This is live on the internets. So if you have a joke, if you think of a joke, just type it in right there into the chat the YouTube, the Facebook, the Twitch, the MySpace, the Reddit, the IRQs, the pads of electronicals. Just type in your joke right there in the chat. Our producer, Josh, who is off camera, goes through. He reads all your jokes. He pulls out a good one to go up against the professionals. And then you vote on who had the best jokes. That is you jokes. Applause button. <laughs> I see a bunch of people are joining us now. Hello, Amy Kahn. Henrik, Josh Begley, Jeremiah Goff. Hello, Jeremiah. Uh, Courtney Perks is here. Sarah Ray Ray, Angela Rosender. Uh, who else did I see here? I saw a bunch of people at the beginning. Oh, it's uh, Shannon R is here. Hello, Henrik. This is going to be a fun uh, show tonight. Uh, we have two very funny guests uh, that I'm excited to say that they have already played you jokes and perhaps are champions at it. I don't know if they won their actual episodes, but I'm going to say they have to increase the maximum drama. This is, by the way, episode 87 of You Jokes. Applause button. <laughs> Does it seem weird that I say applause button and then my wife presses the applause button? Anyway, that's how we do it tonight. Uh, 87, which is actually National Cuban Sandwich Day. Applause button. <laughs> National Cuban Sandwich Day, which is weird because in Cuba, it's National Turkey Sandwich Day, which is really weird. Because in Turkey, it's National Italian Sub Day. It's National French Dip Day in Italy, National Polish Sausage Day in France, National Buffalo Hot Wings Day in Poland. And seeing how it's also Denver Omelet Day in Buffalo, why don't you just go ahead and press that share and that like and that subscribe button? Because this could go on for a while. Uh, tonight's program is brought to you by Eon Barrel 87. Thank you, Eon, for being a sponsor of our program tonight. <laughs> not really a sponsor. I just like clicking buttons. Oh, thank you, Henrik, for the uh, thank you, Henrik, for the two dollar. Did you fire your son or upgrade to your wife? That's a good question. Uh, okay, no more, no more applause. <laughs> uh, our, our son Chase is actually uh, in a, a Zoom class right now, so my wife is taking over the duties. She is union and is ready to handle all of the duties, and I'm I'm going to give her that two dollars, Henrik, so that she can feel accomplished in life. <laughs> no, no more. No more applause. I want to introduce you to our guest tonight. Please welcome two very funny people returning to the program, Jeremy Rowley and Megan Strange. What is up, y'all? Hello. Hi, I'm in an internet class too right now. Hi, it is a Zoom doing? class. So if I'm not paying attention, it's because I'm learning. Well, of course. What, what, are you, what is the class, Jeremy? Uh, it's on uh, dog grooming dog you're taking a <laughs> zoom dog grooming class yeah why not you've always got to keep learning otherwise what are you better than everyone else right that's... do you have a dog <laughs> no see that's how enlightened i am is yeah. that I, I don't need to only learn things that pertain to my world i'm going to learn things that per, that the for, for others the, for others Expanding your mind. I love yes. it. I just thought you were funny. I didn't know you were such a philanthropist. I'm very enlightened. I'm I'm, I'm a philanthrop philanthropist with uh, the of the mind, not of the pocketbook. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of uh, funny, something that's terribly something that is funny but also is not funny is Megan, you were telling us, and this is, I've, I've never heard of this before, but- A lot of people dog, have not heard of it. Your dog has a pacemaker. I oh tell everyone gosh. I meet. <laughs> it's kind of- Like, I, I didn't know that that even was done with animals. I never I, heard of that. 
I didn't. And this is real. Obviously, I was kidding about everything. This is real, you guys. Yes. It is real. He's 16. He's laying right here on a um, aero bed. You know, what's that called? Air mattress. Because I'm yeah. down at the Jersey Shore and he likes that mattress. Anyway, yeah, he's, he, I thought he was having like seizures or something. <laughs> it's terrible. And that that was like going to be it. And then they said, no, he has a slow heart rate. And get this. His name is Brady. Brady, Brady and what he has is literally called Brady Cardia. Yeah. It's a slow heart rate. So wow. they fixed him up. They go through the neck at a little incision and the thing goes into his heart, just like a lead, you know, a cord. Or whatever. And he's got this battery in his neck. It's nuts. <laughs> well, it's, it's wonderful that he's still alive. And that yeah. he's alive. Know. it's also just hilarious because yes. it's a dog with a pacemaker. So, <laughs> It, it serves both purposes. <laughs> <laughs> he looks alive. It's hard to tell, but oh. I do check. <laughs> and what are, what are you up to, Megan? What have you been doing uh, in the last many Taking months? Taking my dog. I helped my mother move. I always want to say, like, you know, I finished my novel and I opened a school in, in Africa. But I'm just kind of, yeah. I feel like there was, I had a concussion also from taking a martial arts class. Yeah, it's been a rough go. Oh, man. Not as rough as a lot of people, so I'm good. Well, a victory tonight would help you get your uh, get your groove back, and we'll see sure if that happens. Uh, you'll have to go against Jeremy, though. And Jeremy, so <clears throat> I know uh, I've, I've done improv shows with you. You're part of the world famous Groundlings Theater. You progressive commercials. We've both been on iCarly, which is hilarious in its own way. Yeah. What, what are you doing? What have you been doing other than raising your your four year old who's running? Uh, I, mean, I, I just finished writing a couple seasons on Bless the Hearts on yeah. Fox. Uh, that was a, an animated show that had. Maya Rudolph, Kristen Wiig, uh, Ike Barinholtz, Fortune Themester, Jillian Bell, like just the best cast in the world. So I got to write on that and do some voices on that. That just, uh, we just uh, finished the second season and, and now I'm writing some other stuff. And like you said, doing some commercials and I'm very happy that I'm doing okay during all, all this, you know. Very cool. Very stuff. Cool. Yeah. Have you have you gotten back on the Groundling stage yet? Uh, live yet? I haven't. They asked me back, and but they just started the shows, and I said not quite yet because I got the four year old at home. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on I indoor big things until he can get vaccinated. So okay. here, of course. Can I just yeah. mention a character from like the late '90s? I still laugh at in my head of yours. Do you oh, remember right. the character who was like in a bank and stuff, and he had his pockets <laughs> out? Oh like this, goodness. and was always like, I uh, have nothing, right? Oh, so, I love you. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. Like Bank of America. I don't know. I died. Yes. I died. And I also love your character on Pam Temperature. <laughs> that guy. Thank you. Thank yes. you. She's, there's she's a, awesome. I'm just here to make your. To That's make very you nice of you. Yeah. There's a, there's a, uh, Annie Sertich has a, like a little show on instagram live that mm -hmm. that megan's talking about and it's really fun to it's do. so funny and i uh, miss anyway. it it's all groundlings you know and they're all improvising these characters it's so funny you're very <laughs> kind to megan she's just softening you up jeremy so she can take you down she's going to take me down i'm going to tell you right now she's going to take me down <laughs> well, let's find out by starting round one of you jokes <laughs> Name the movie, y'all. Works like this. Pretty simple. I'm going to show you a picture, and you tell me what movie do you think the picture is from. And here we go. Here is the picture. What? <laughs> what movie do you think this is from? If you have a joke, do me a favor and type it into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Uh, what is this movie? Good luck, audience. Good luck, contestants. We're going to start off down in the bottom square with Megan. Megan. This this. this was a great movie. I think it had a bunch of nominations. It was called Forgive Me, Father, for I have brutally dismembered everything in my path. <laughs> it was, I, I, I remember this. It was hard for them to get all the words on the poster, but I think yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, that is a good one, Megan. Let us slide up to Jeremy. Jeremy, uh, what is this movie? Yeah, see, I'm remembering a different film, Megan. Oh. Uh, I thought it was Confessions of a Dangerous Herbivore. Um, <laughs> and for all you dino nerds out there, those are the ones that don't eat meat. Oh, you're right. 
right? Oh, but th man. that's the funny thing because that's the one killing people is the plant guy. That's and, and oh. you probably learned that in a dinosaur Zoom class. Am I right, Jerry? <laughs> I never stop learning. I never stop. <laughs> Don't accuse me of stopping learning. Don't do it. I won't. I won't. I would never do. Uh, <laughs> Josh, dip into the audience and pull out a good one from the audience. We have one from uh, Kristen Elliott. Four Ooh. weddings and a mass extinction. That's amazing. That's yes, good. Mister. Nice one. That's it. That's how it works. The three jokes are in, and now you know what we do. We vote. Do you think Megan had the best joke? You type in M. Did you think Jeremy had the best joke? You type in J. Do you think the audience had the best joke? Type in A. It's M for Megan, J for Jeremy, A for audience. We would have also have accepted as an answer uh, the movie Jesus Christ Supersaurus uh, as an answer as well. Uh, let us <laughs> do our eyeball count, Josh, and tell us who won that round of you jokes. And the winner of round one is the audience. That's fair. You know, you, this audience, they, they they bring it, you guys. They always bring it. Yeah, Mass extinction, that was good. I didn't even, like, they had to think of that and type, and I, I didn't have to even that's type. A, that's true. So they had they were at a disadvantage, and they thought of a great one. So what, they got what it. One of the contestants on the show one time didn't quite understand the game, and they, they were also typing, like, while they, they were typing the answer they were saying. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? They're like, I gotta, I gotta, I, let me type it. Like, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, that, that was, Jeremy, that was a typewriter sound effect you were doing. Right. Well, yeah, that's how you type. I, I have a typewriter because I don't believe that technology should consume us. Ah, and because, like me, you learned improv in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Let's play our next game to see who we can move into the lead here. The next game is called this. Seven word thoughts. Seven word thoughts. I'm going to show you a picture. There will be a person in that picture. I want you to tell me what they are thinking using only seven words. Only seven words. Good luck, everyone. Here is the pick. Oh, what am I looking at? This Josh, where do you get this stuff? Person. What is this person thinking? Here's the thing. You can tell me what they're thinking, but you can only use seven words. So if you have a joke, please type it into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. What is this person thinking? Good luck, everyone. We started with Megan last time, which means Jeremy is up to bat. Jeremy, what's this person thinking? Seven words. She's thinking, feed the baby and feel sexy. <laughs> Solved. <laughs> Yes, she is. Uh, good answer, man. Uh, going down to Megan. Megan, seven words. What is she to, thinking? To me, she looks like she's thinking at least they're not. Wait, at least they don't hang this low. <laughs> yes. At least they don't hang this low. I love that it's possible she's thinking both of what you thought. That's mm. a possibility. Uh, Josh, let's dive into the audience. Let's pull one out to go up against the comedians. And we have one from Josh Begley. <laughs> My dog Brady has a <laughs> maker. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's referred to as a callback in the improv. Brady. <laughs> Josh knows what he's doing. Uh, three good jokes. That's what you got. But you got to pick one. Uh, vote now. Was it M for Megan? Was it J for Jeremy? Was it A for audience? M for Megan. J for Jeremy. A for audience. Uh, another possibility would be breast fist cereal may get saggy in milk. Uh, yeah. Josh, oh. do your eyeball count as you do so well. Josh was a the valedictorian in his fourth grade class. So addition is one of the specialties. Who won this round, Mr. Flaum? The winner of round two is this. Hang, hang on. Um, uh, I can't find uh, Megan's name typed in here. So Megan, you're the winner. Congratulations. Oh, Yay! How does that work? Type it in. 
I just didn't type it in. Oh, I thought you meant like nobody typed my name. So <laughs> I couldn't find any Megan's. You'd be like, don't do that. She's like, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> I was like, how does that work? What about, I thought you were good at math. Uh, I, I, oh, I, I am, but uh, definitely not spelling your name out, at least in my system. So there you go. Congratulations. Well, you got it. Thank you, Josh. Megan, you have one. Audience, you have one. Jeremy. I have one. <laughs> no, you don't. You're, that, but that that flows with what you were saying. If you were, it would ha the sentence would flow if you were to finish it that way. Uh, Megan has one. The audience has one. Jeremy, you have one chance to score. Yes. It's foreshadowing. There we go. Positive. positive thinking. In this game. That sounds like something. Sounds like something. This is kind of a new game. It's really fun. I'm going to play a sound effect. And you have to tell me, what is that sound effect? What is that sound effect? So uh, we're going to go ahead and play that sound effect. Listen carefully. Here it is. One more time. What is that sound effect? One more time. Do you know what that is? Do you have a joke for that sound effect? Type it in now into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Type in your joke. What is that sound effect? Uh, one more time. Megan, what is that sound effect? It's so obviously that pig and pig farmer famous uh, beatbox duo. Mm. You've Famous. seen them on America's Got Talent. You, you know I'm not going to let you get away with an answer like that without telling me the name of their act, Megan. The name of their act is Oink It Up. <laughs> Oink It Up! <laughs> Oink It Up! <sighs> Let's play it one more time. <laughs> Jeremy, what is that? Okay, this isn't really fair because I actually know the real source of the audio. This is oh. not, it's not a joke. It's the real thing. This is, that's um, Joe Rogan giving his medical advice on COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry oh. to, it's not like cheating if I just knew, I happen to know. I happen to right. know. Yeah. It is so, so true and hilarious. Uh, <laughs> good answer, man. Let's go to the audience. Uh, Josh, deep into the audience and tell us, Roland Taylor Jr., the Budweiser <laughs> frog with a sore throat. Yes. Yes. Uh, he also learned improv in the 90s, apparently. The Budweiser <laughs> frog was a commercial character. That... <laughs> Google it. Google it. Uh, voting time. Was it M for Megan? Was it J for Jeremy? Was it A for the audience? M for Megan, J for Jeremy, or A for the audience? Um, I kind of thought that this sound reminded me almost exactly of the sound uh, that anybody, including myself, over 40, tries to make it getting out of a beanbag chair. <laughs> we just or that. any chair. Or any, well, no, that's 50. Any chair is 50. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I, I get that. <laughs> I want one of those senior citizen dump recliners so bad. <laughs> right. They dump you out. Yeah. I'm sure your dog has one, right, Megan? Yes. How did you know? <laughs> He's got several places. <laughs> Josh, who won this round of the U jokes? Jeremy on the board. Oh my gosh. This helps everyone. That helps everyone. True. <laughs> we're all we're all even. We we're all women. Balances the universe. Except nice. for Joe Rogan, who got <laughs> Because like, he's doing okay. <laughs> he's doing all right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna play another game. I hope y'all like it. It's called this. What's this invention? What is this invention? What is this invention? I will show you an invention and you tell me what is it this invention is it. Here it is. Okay. What is this thing? There's a man in there. It's a wheel or a, some kind of thing. Uh, if you have a joke for this, do me that extreme favor of typing it into the Facebook and the YouTube or the Twitch chat. What is this invention? Uh, I believe we started with Megan last time first. So it's up to Jeremy to tell us. Jeremy, what is this invention? 
Um, I have to be honest. I don't know what invention it is, <laughs> but I know it's definitely a still from the silent film that the movie uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective was based on. Okay. I know it's that. <laughs> yeah. So I need, okay. Yeah. I, I, I need I need a joke explained. Joke explained. <laughs> so, so there's a silent film yes. that was the inspiration for, for Ace Ventura Pet Detective. And this is a still from that film. I okay because that's how he drove out of his car, like out of oh, his side okay, like okay, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, yeah. Right, right. He did. He, he made famous driving out of the car <laughs> sideways. I, it's, I, you know that guy that made the Budweiser frog? He's he's laughing so hard right now <laughs> because it's his time period. So, so here's the thing, Jeremy. So yeah. your kid is four, and but yes. I have teenagers. Okay. So what they, that means is you haven't watched movies for about four years, am I right? <laughs> so I haven't true. seen movies for about 17 years oh. because they, there's just no time for that. So no, you'll, you don't you'll that. understand this as, as your child ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good because other people got it. I did because of, because of not the smarts. Okay. Uh, going down to Megan. Oh. Megan, uh, what's this invention? This is how, um, this is like the next iteration of monster trucks because they just, the tires got so big, they just said, fuck the truck. I mean, <laughs> man, let's just do tires. I mean, you can like bump up the and stuff like that. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Who this needs the car so part? Who needs them? We got these big tires now. Uh, I like that. I like that. Give them what they want. Let's go to the audience. Josh, pull us out one from our fine folks at home. Maurice Gray, a curler fallen from the hair of the 50-foot woman. That's yes. very good. Does look like a curler. It is a giant curler from the 50-foot woman. Uh, and, and I, I should have seen that. Um, <laughs> now, that's a reference. That's a lot. That's the oldest reference on the show yet, right? So far. I do have a Buckminster Fuller reference coming up. <laughs> <laughs> in the next act. Okay, all right. Uh, hey, let's vote, y'all. Was it M for Megan, J for Jeremy, or A for the audience? That's M for Megan, J for Jeremy, or A for the audience. Um, I thought this invention was a, a barrel full of honkies, or just a barrel full of honky. Just one singular honky. That's a toy from the 80s. We're going all over last century today. Uh, Josh, who won this round of you jokes? Audience, we have the audience with two, Jeremy with one, Megan with one. Who will tie it up? Will one of you tie it up, or will the audience sweep? We'll find out. But first, a little bit of this. It's time for last week's best. Last week's best is this. Most people don't watch this show live, they watch it later after the fact, but we don't want to leave y'all out. We want you to play. So if you have a joke and you're not watching this live, please still type it in to the chat. We go back through the whole week. We read all the jokes. We also read all the jokes we do on our Facebook challenges sometimes. And we invite the best joke. We get that person and we say, do you want to come and play in the final round of the live show? So please welcome uh, last week's winner. She's won before. Uh, she's also won our other show, High Joke Score. Uh, it's Amy Khan, everybody. Amy Khan. Amy. Hello. Hey, Amy. Uh, Hi. Jeremy, Megan, a Amy is like one of, there are like one or two people on You Jokes and all of the shows in our network that constantly, constantly wins and has great jokes. And Amy Khan is one of them. So yeah, much so that people are like teaming up to try to take her down. Whoa. There is. You are I'm too, you're too it, good. Like we, can't, we can't, we can't allow this. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Oops. And Amy, of yeah. course, uh, it's always a good time to plug your improv show that you do. Yes. The improv show that's like on hiatus because we're waiting <laughs> to see when we can go back in person and we're not doing online at the moment. Um, <laughs> but I can't, yeah, we'll bring your own improv in Warwick, Rhode Island. Um, there's that. But I can still be seen online because I've been doing uh, the Impro Theater Community Jams on oh, Friday yes. night with, yeah. 
Hmm. Ooh, I love Impro Theater. Impro yes. Theater. Lots of uh, people from Impro Theater have have been on this show. Great. Check out Impro Theater. They're always doing great stuff, and they're always oh, and occasionally in Groundling student shows too. Oh, cool. Woo! Well, you get to play in this final round, Amy. So, oh, let me show you what you won for. We played a game last week. It was called What Are They Famous For? And this was the picture right here. Uh, what are they famous for? And your winning answer was? Uh, the longest served prism sentence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that, I love that, that our banner covers your face as you deliver the joke. <laughs> no it censors me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just in case you did it in a lurid fashion. Ooh, right. uh, <laughs> let's play our final game with our winner. This one's called This. It's an inspirational poster. Inspirational poster. Very simple. I show you a poster. You tell me if this was an inspirational poster, what would it read? Good luck, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> oh. It's a lady on a dog in the space. Uh, uh, this is the final round. Type in your joke, everyone, into the Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch chat. Good luck to you. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. And it's supposed to tell you about our next show. We're going to be back next Monday, August 30th. Um, so if you're not watching this live and you want to catch the next live one, it's going to be on August 30th. Also, you can watch our shows every Wednesday. FMK Champions, F. Mary Kill Champions, hosted by Carolyn Page, where comedians go through who they would rather do certain things to and in what order. Uh, and then on Friday, we have High Joke Score. It is a comedy competition uh, show, but it's not live. You type your jokes in, and the winner actually wins cash. Amy Kahn won uh, $50 for herself uh, and $50 for her favorite charity last session. So check out, follow, subscribe to our YouTube page to be watching all those fun shows. Oh, and merch. We have merchandise. Um, and it wraps right around Amy's head. It's it's a scarf that goes over her head. Uh, if you want merch and you want to get a You Jokes t-shirt or FMK t-shirt, uh, just go to the description of this video and there's a, a link in there to click and buy You Jokes merch. All right, that is my announcements. It is the final round. We will start off with our winner, Amy Khan. What is this inspirational poster say? Uh, you know, before I get to that, I'm going to have to go back and change my High joke Score crystal ball answer. Because that, that's definitely like future me. Yes. But um, but no, that that's actually in um, one of a series of inspirational posters for NASA. Ooh. It yeah, and so this one um, they chose a celebrity chef to feature, and the um, so the the poster says, "Hey y'all, I'm Paula Dean. The sky's the limit for your rover exploration." <laughs> And an impression. No one's ever done an impression in that game. That's good stuff, Amy Khan. Let's move on up to Megan. Megan, what would this inspirational poster say? Well, I thought it was the one that says, um, shoot for the moon. And if you miss, you'll end up on a giant farting pup with Paula Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Paula Dean? Doesn't really matter, I guess. Really looks like her. It looks like her a lot. Yeah. Uh, finally, to you. It, oh, it might not? be Paula Dean. I actually <laughs> don't know what Paula Dean looks like. Uh, <laughs> apparently, the audience does, and uh, I've gotten more than a few content, uh, uh, comments that uh, are saying things like, "Does Jonathan know that's Paula Dean?" <laughs> uh, so, apologies to Paula Dean, uh, but you're gonna get what's coming to you. Um, <laughs> it's tough jo to recognize her with sunglasses. Josh is Canadian and does not know who any. Uh, American oh. stars are. Nope. Nope. Just watch, just watch our TV. Uh, they might let you watch it. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I've just been watching reruns of The Littlest Hobo and Beat the Beach Coast. <laughs> okay. All, all right, right, Jeremy, it's yeah. your turn to round off this round. Uh, what would this poster say? Uh, you can't trust science, y'all. Brought to you by the state of Alabama and its neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. One, because it's hilarious. And two, that I actually am from Alabama. So that makes oh. <laughs> That's from Mobile. That's hilarious. They okay. would appreciate that. 
right. Uh, good answers, but we must vote, everyone. Was it? Um, we're going to say K for Amy Khan. K for Amy Khan. Was it M for Megan? Was it J for Jeremy or A for the audience? That's A for audience. J for Jeremy. M for Megan. K for Amy Khan. Vote now. Oh, I, I have to point out also that we have not yet shown an audience answer. So oh, I always forget this part. I always forget this part. Uh, don't vote. Show us an answer, Josh. Man, I always forget to do that. Motown fan in space. Oh, put it back. Put it back. Mo- in space, no one can hear you uh. say the Because <laughs> Paula Dina said yes. that. And oh. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't know that either. Oh, yeah. Without context, that joke is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I was here to help because it's a very funny joke. But yeah, it would not have gone well if people Thank didn't you know that. Yeah. And if you you don't get it, uh, Google Paula Dean um, controversy, and you'll 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 have more sense. Based. Google now, why you know, haven't I seen Paula Dean in a long time? Yeah, right. that. exactly. That's why. Yes. Uh, <laughs> What's happening? Voting! Vote now we vote. K for Khan, M for Megan, J for Jeremy, A for audience. That's K for Amy Khan, M for Megan, J for Jeremy, and A for audience. Uh, This has been a super fun show. I want to thank you guys all for coming and watching you jokes uh, again and again and again. Uh, 87 episodes. Couldn't have done it without y'all. So thank you uh, for coming and playing. And uh, it's really fun to do, too. I can tell you one thing. Yes. One thing I know. I get mathematically. I am guaranteed to not lose mathematically. I know that. Whoa. Ma- okay. <laughs> right? If you just look at the math, I'm not saying I'm even going to win this last one. I'm just saying mathematically, <laughs> I have to, right? If you look at the number, the percentages, and the algorithms and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is that new math. See what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you have been taking Zoom classes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. I do have to learn a whole new math with him at some point, huh? Oh, with yeah. My ba- with oh, my baby. Okay. Oh, no. Good mm. luck. I didn't want to learn old math. I don't, <laughs> definitely don't want to learn new math. There's no yeah. more long division. <laughs> I, mean, I, I hate it, but I know how to do that at least. I know, me too. Josh, who won the final round of you jokes? Amy! 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 <laughs> Undefeated champion of the entire channel. Um, congratulations, Amy. And thanks for being here, of course. Jeremy, so great to see you, man. Uh, you. I love playing with you on the internet and also whenever we play in person. It's such it's such a joy. And Megan, thank you so much. And, and best of wishes to your sweet little puppy. I <laughs> thank hope you. Can, thank you. And enjoys a much longer life. Uh, yeah. And uh, thank you all for joining us on New Jokes. We will see you next time. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody.